Why hasn't the president come to check on me yet? When he heard that I fainted, shouldn't he have dropped everything and come running to take care of me? He just won an election and has the privilege of cleaning up after, so he'll probably come when he's done. Oh my gosh! What if he doesn't want me to be on his council anymore? It's astonishing how much control your mind has over your body. Are you actually concerned about that? You know full well what my personality is like. What if the president discovered the shady things I did to make the other candidate drop out of the election? Or that I pestered a handful of cops into voting for him? <laughs> oh no! What if he knows the members of the election committee are my puppet? Jeez, you really went all out, didn't you? I mean, he only ran because I asked him to, so of course I did! I promised myself I'd do everything I could to get him reelected. Wasn't that a logical decision? Well, you're a paranoid mess now, so I don't think the juice was worth the squeeze in this case. I'm a horrible girl who relied on foul play to win. If he doesn't want me for student council, I can't say I blame him. Except I have every right to blame him if he does that to me! Did you see what he did with those votes we worked so hard to scrounge up? Did you? He just chucked him out the first open window he saw without so much as a second thought! <laughs> He's like a typical good-for-nothing husband whose wife works a part-time job every night, but then he takes her money and uses it for gambling, sex workers, and booze! <laughs> It'll be fine. He asked you to write his campaign speech. He wouldn't have done that if he didn't want you on his council. I'm the kind of woman that gets used up and thrown out like a piece of trash once I've served my purpose! Anxious one second, angry the next. You're hopeless.